So you're thinking about moving over to Cedar Park, but you want to know, is it too expensive? Am I too far away from Austin? What is there even to do around here? Well, I'm going to cover all of those things in today's video. I'm going to show you three homes in three different price ranges and give you guys a real tour around Cedar Park. I'm going to go over a home in $300,000 range, $500,000 range, and $700,000 range. Let's get after it. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Austin, Texas, then make sure you subscribe and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current Austin market. My name is Blake. I'm with the Living in Austin, Texas team, and we get calls every single day from people just like you thinking about making the move down to Austin, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, don't hesitate to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send an email. We'd love to help you make a smooth move down to Austin. Before I tell you guys where exactly I am right now, I want to give you guys some history on Cedar Park. So Cedar Park has been around for a long time. Now it's been a real city for only the past couple decades, but people have lived here for literally thousands of years. Originally, Native American tribes lived here, including the Comanche tribe, and they were here before European settlers even came here. But even before that, in the 80s, this archeological site was discovered here in Cedar Park showing people that lived here in 5000 BC, meaning they have lived in Cedar Park for 7,000 years. I know that is insane, but most of the people moved here around the 1960s, that's when it became incorporated, that's when they started building homes, and that's what became the Cedar Park today. You may think the name, well, why is it called Cedar Park? Well, frankly, there was just a lot of cedar trees, and that's why they named it Cedar Park. It's a pretty simple name, but anyways, Cedar Park is located just 17 miles northwest of Austin. We're about 25 minutes from downtown, about 30 minutes to the airport, and about 15 minutes to the domain, including all of the tech jobs over there as well. Now we've got Round Rock just to the east of us, which of course there's a ton of things to do over there. And then we're also not far from the rural country. So if you wanna get out, you know, the suburbs and the city, well, rural land is not far at all from here. We can be in the middle of nowhere in literally 20 minutes or less. So where am I currently? Well, I'm over here at the Elizabeth Milbourne Park. And you might ask who even is Elizabeth Milborn. Well, her husband was a huge home builder here from the 1960s to the 1990s, and he actually named this park after her. He also named a lot of streets after his daughter and his wife, so you will find some of those if you're driving around Cedar Park. But this park is awesome. They have everything from a lap pool to a rock climbing wall. They have a skate park, uh, BMX trails, They've got a, a mile walking trail that I'm walking on currently. They've got all these soccer fields, sand volleyball, the lap pool. They have a water slide there too, even a kiddie pool. So not just for swimmers, which I find fantastic. This is a great park over here. Now let's go and check out our first neighborhood. We'll see you guys there. first neighborhood in Cedar Park. This is the neighborhood of High Meadows. Over here, as you can tell, most of the homes were built in the 90s, a little bit of the late 80s, but still nice, quiet neighborhood. Everyone's got their lawn mowed over here. And anyways, we're walking up to our first home. This is a perfect starter home. It's three bedrooms, two baths, right at about 1,400 square feet. You can see it right behind me. It was built in 1994. It's 369,000, making the price per square foot right at about $260. Now what's great is that this home has some great bones. It's not your dream home, but it's your perfect starter home and it's, it may exactly be what you're looking for. Let's talk about the location a little bit. Now we are super close to the Whitestone Shopping Center and over there, is gonna have everything you really need. We have a ton of groceries, whether you go to HEB, Whole Foods, Walmart, Costco. If you don't have a Costco in your neighborhood, you're definitely missing out, and thankfully, Cedar Park has one right here. Now, additionally, they have restaurants such as 
Jack Allen's and Chick-fil-A and Buffalo Wild Wings, you know, typical restaurants. They also have The Grove, which I'm pretty sure is an Austin-based restaurant, but anyways, they have one location over here. It has great food, wine bar, and yeah, like I said, a location right here in Cedar Park. Now, nightlife over here is not a whole lot. There is the Wild West Bar over here, which is a bunch of country dance, country music dancing, so you know, if you want to get your dancing boots on, head over there, but that's pretty much it. You know, it's definitely more quiet, it's residential suburbia over here in Cedar Park, but that may be exactly what you're looking for. Anyways, of course, before I send you guys to the next neighborhood, I'm gonna show you guys, drive you guys around, show you what this neighborhood feels, looks like. See you over at our second neighborhood. second neighborhood over here in Quest Village. I actually just found a cemetery across the street. I guess cemetery was here and then they built this neighborhood. Pretty interesting. Can't say I've seen that before. We are right here at our second home. This is three bedrooms, two and a half baths, right at about 2,000 square feet. Built in 2000. Now it's cool. This home actually has a pool and solar panels and it's pretty nice. It's right at $500,000, making the price per square foot right at about $250 a square foot. Not a bad price at all. The neighborhood, we've got all these gorgeous trees that overhang the streets, sidewalks. You know, most of these homes were built in the 2000s, as you can tell, so early 2000s, I would say. Let's talk about the school district for a little bit. So Leander ISD, this is one of the best school districts in the state of Texas. It's actually ranked number 13 out of 1,000 schools on Niche.com. And Niche.com actually gave it an A plus rating. So it is fantastic. It is huge though. We have 29 elementary schools, nine middle schools, and six high schools. They have a couple alternative schools as well. So it is a big school district, but it's one of the best in Texas. So that's fantastic. Now, other things around Cedar Park, we have the HEB Center, which is home to two professional sports teams. Now we have the minor league NBA team, then or the NBA G League, which has the Austin Spurs, which is the San Antonio Spurs little baby brother. And then we have the Texas Stars hockey team. So that is the Dallas Stars little brother down here in Austin. And they both play at HEB Center. So make sure you check out one of those games. You don't even have to go to downtown Austin to go see a UT game or Austin FC game. You can see something right here in Cedar Park. They additionally have concerts there. And they have a giant flea market there as well. So there is a ton over there. They even have Wheel of Fortune comes over here which I did not know that. Gonna have to check that out. But that is pretty much it over here in this neighborhood. I will drive around, show you guys the neighborhood, but we will catch you in our final neighborhood. Before we head to our last and final home, I forgot to mention the Quest Village Park. It's actually right behind me. So we have that park here right in the neighborhood. You don't have to go back over to the Elizabeth Wilborn Park. We have this one right here. It's got a baseball field, playground, as a big area to run around, let those dogs loose. But, you know, additionally, I wanted to mention that there is pretty much a neighborhood park in every single subdivision over here. That's what they try to do when they build these neighborhoods, at least put in a big park, a playground, or something like that. And then Cedar Park has all these trails all over the place. So you can go to the Elizabeth Willborn Park, the Bush Creek Park, which is real similar to Elizabeth Warren. I mean, <laughs> Elizabeth. Willborn, but it does have a big pond that you can go fishing, take a kayak out. We have a couple of other areas that you can go and do some light hiking around here. So that's definitely, if you like the outdoorsy, it's real pretty. We've got some gorgeous, well, a lot of cedar trees, but really a lot of beautiful oak trees, live oak trees all throughout Cedar Park. But we will see you guys over here at our last and final neighborhood. neighborhood over here in the Twin Creeks community. Now it's awesome over here because in this community we have a country club, we have a community pool, we even have a fitness center 
And what's great is a community like this, they have all sorts of community events going on throughout the entire year. Anyways, we are walking up to our first home. It's gonna be four bedrooms, three and a half baths, right at about 3,300 square feet. It was built in 2006 and it is 745,000, making the price per square foot about $225 a square foot. As you can see, it is right across the street from us. Beautiful brick home. As you can tell, most of the homes over here were built in the early 2000s and they're all made from brick and stone some stucco materials but you can see everyone keeps their homes at a well to the hoa standard you know perfect every lawn's mowed that's what i'm trying to say they got beautiful sidewalks and since this home or since this area is really you know 20 20 years old we've got all these beautiful trees surrounding the streets which is really nice now let's talk about the area so around here we have lake travis which you know is not far at all from this part of cedar park this more southern part of cedar park we're maybe 10 15 minutes away from lake travis so if you have a boat well that's fantastic if not no worries there's so many different boat clubs or just beaches that you can go out little rocky beaches i should say but you can go out nonetheless and be in lake travis now additionally they have lake travis zip line as well which is super cool there's all these different points where you have to climb and then zip line down it is more of a hike you know it's not just all zip lines I, trust me i've done it before in the hot summer months and it's a good workout for sure even have this one zip line that goes over right over lake travis which is super neat besides that they also have the waterloo it's called the, the waterloo it's like these inflatable optical course on lake travis which I haven't done, but I've seen it. I've been wanting to get out there. It's right on the lake. So you fall in, you fall right in the lake. It's kind of like the show Wipeout. Anyways, that pretty much covers over here. Oh, there's also Lakeline Mall. We are really close to Lakeline Mall, which is probably, honestly, probably the smallest mall in the Austin area. And so, of course, they're gonna have your department stores, you know, typical restaurants like Chili's, Pluckers, and stuff like that. But they also have a movie theater, so that is something that is really nearby and uh, just a great way to, you know, if you need to get some shopping done, we'll head over to Lakeline Mall. But that pretty much covers today's video over here in Cedar Park. I hope you guys were able to learn a couple of things. And if you guys are thinking about making the move over to Cedar Park, well, don't hesitate to click the link down below. Give me a call, shoot me a text, fill out my submission form. We will hopefully see you here pretty soon. But if not, we'll catch you guys in my next video.